Ralph Irvin in the weight room at the Acosta Athletic Performance Training Center, and it's the final day of testing for the UCLA football team. Here's UCLA head athletic performance coach, Mike Lynn. You know, ever since I came back to UCLA a couple years ago, we, we really try to build testing the week up into something really special. Um, we really try to push competitiveness in our off-season program, and really the off-season is the culmination of, of uh, many weeks of just being ultra-competitive uh, in their training. So we test twice a year. We test uh, at the end of our off-season in winter, which is right now in March. And then we test at the end of the summer program uh, in August, right before they go to camp. So these kids only have uh, really two weeks of intense back-to-back um, -back games. We teach our we teach our players that you know this week was all about playing four straight games. You know Monday was a game, Tuesday was a game, Wednesday was a game, Thursday was a game. It's the closest thing a player will have uh, to a game day situation um, uh, during the offseason in terms of just that emotion, that drive, that excitement. We test in 10 areas with the players and with that, that 10 areas of different cross section of physical attributes a player has, we can determine what their weaknesses are, what we need to work on in the following program. So we test in the weight room, we test uh, the back squat. We do a three rep max on back squat. That's gonna test the player's lower body strength. Uh, we test three rep bench press, which is going to test their upper body strength. We do a three rep power clean max from the floor, which tests their total body strength. Out on the field, we do a vertical jump, which tests their, or their vertical power. We do a standing broad jump, which tests their horizontal power. We run a 40 yard dash, which tests obviously their linear speed straight ahead. We test the 5-10-5, which is a pro agility, tests their uh, ability to change directions quickly. We do a body pod, a bod pod analysis, which is body composition, look at their muscle mass. Um, we do a functional movement screen with the athletes as well, test their flexibility, coordination. And the last test, the 10th test, we do a medicine ball chest pass, which tests their upper body power output. So we do all the cross sections. We test their flexibility, their power, uh, their strength, and just their body composition. So it really gives us a profile of each athlete. The one thing we had going for us is, you know, we've got a lot of young guys. Uh, it's always easier to PR with, uh, get personal records with young guys uh, than it is a guy who's kind of hit his genetic ceiling, but uh, even our older guys tested really well. The one thing we were really pleased with was we had a, uh, we had a ton of uh, PRs in the 40-yard dash, and really the offseason is, is all about uh, putting size and strength on guys, so we have a tendency to you know, really look to a kid hitting his same 40-yard dash time with a bigger body, that's important for us. And then in the summer, we work on getting a kid even faster with that big body. In this off season, we had a lot of kids who gained 15, 20 pounds and, and got faster at the same time. So that's good. If we can continue with that trend, then we'll have a you know, an even bigger team, an even faster team going into next season. It wasn't a great night for running the 40s. I think if it, if it was raining, that would, that's the only thing that could have made it worse. Uh, but it was, it was cold, uh, the wind was swirling. Um, on kids, so it, it wasn't it wasn't great, but uh, uh, it's it's a testament to their mental toughness too, because we didn't have one kid complain about it uh, in terms of, oh, coach, my time's going to be bad. They just understood what they had to do, put their hand down, ran their ran their forties, and did did really well. You know, Kevin Prince did a great job. You know, our starting quarterback uh, ran uh, you know ran, ran a four five three forty. You know, I, uh, you know, he's gained good weight. And I know everybody was a little bit concerned about, you know, when they heard that the quarterback was up to 230 pounds and some people had seen the pictures of the quarterback or seen a video of the quarterback. It's like, God, he looks like a linebacker. But, you know, he got even faster. He's running a 4-5-3, and, and that was, that's the, I think that might have been the top mark at the NFL Combine this year. Um, so he stuck out. You know, Jeff Baca did a great job testing. Dayton Jones, um, Derek Coleman, Milton Knox, um, Josh Smith, uh, transfer wide receiver in from Colorado, uh, set PRs in all three lifts and actually uh, broke records for the wide receiver in all three lifts. Uh, Jeff Dickman broke records in the, on the lifts. Uh, Ryan Taylor broke the squat record uh, for offensive linemen. Um, we had a ton of guys breaking records on the championship platform, so um, really more names that I can go over in terms of how well guys have done.
coaches always like to say that you know when I was playing it was different. And we were, I, I think that these kids have done such a great job of buying in over the last couple of years of what we really want and what what needs to happen in this program to be a great team. I think that um, in terms of the weight room side of things, the competitiveness, the energy in the room is is beyond what it's what it's been uh, when I was a player and even uh, coaching back in the '90s. So. It's good, but the bottom line is it has to transfer over to the field now. Coach Lynn is a real good coach. I mean, he's able to get you motivated, uh, especially me. Um, if you, sometimes I'll, he he makes me cry, just uh, just getting me motivated, getting me able, getting me mad, basically. And uh, him being a, a player here, and he's always somebody I can go talk to and just uh, be a motivator and also you know a mentor. He he just says stuff because he knows my situation. He knows I gotta work to get that starting spot. So, uh, you know, he just pushes me, you know, he gives me a couple of hits on the back, on the chest, and, uh, you know, just kind of just kind of motivates me, yells at me, try to try to get a, get a better match than I did last time. He, he teaches us to flip the switch, you know, like, it's like a big jump for us, because, like, all year we, we don't do that much weight in the weight room, and then, like, we get in there on, on testing and just have, like, amazing numbers. And, like, with that, it's like, we have to buy in the whole offseason, that's what he teaches us. Like, we just buy in, just buy in into the system, and then like the results will show. You know, you just gotta you gotta stay locked in and flip the switch. Once again, UCLA will begin their spring camp in early April. Until then, of course, you can get the latest information as well as news and notes right here at uclabruins.com.